Hello peeps. So this is my first ever unboxing video. Um, it's a really important one to me. I am unboxing Lacoste's Thermal Trainers. Um, let me tell you the story about why I've been shopping for these first because it's really relevant. <laughs> um, I uh, never wore flat shoes, okay? I am a heels addict, basically. I have a many, 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 many pairs of high heel shoes. And until I started teaching and coaching fitness full time, I wore heels every single day without fail. I didn't even own a pair of flat shoes. So I think it's safe to say that over that period of time, I probably did my feet some damage by wearing heels constantly. And it really was constant. Um, and I developed things like corns, but nothing major, right? They were, they were painful, but nothing too bad. A corn is basically um, layers of hard skin that build up in the, on the bumps. So if it was your toe, it would be the joints um, because it's pressing against the shoe too much. Um, and it just develops and, and layers and layers and layers develop until um, it starts causing pain. Um, all you have to do is have it cut back. Um, it's not too bad really, but it does hurt. Um, and then I started teaching, uh, coaching fitness full time and I coach in a gym that has really no heating in it. Um, and in the winter in England, that is a big deal because <laughs> it gets cold here. Um, and so uh, a few winters ago, I did a job that was outside all winter and I just wore fly knits. And as you know, if you've ever worn fly knits, like Nike's fly knits, they are not warm. Um, they're brilliant, but they're not warm. And they certainly don't keep your feet dry. And over that period of time, I developed a condition that I was un completely unaware of until it started screaming at me, um, called chill blains, which is a low level uh, frostbite. And what it had done to my toes and my feet was caused um, the nerves to be damaged, which means that the blood supply, um, when it's cold, doesn't go to the ends of my toes properly. It, as a result of that, it causes huge amounts of swelling and itching. I don't know why it itches, it's, an, it's a nerve issue. Um, and the itching is like an itch you've never felt in your life. And the swelling, well, each, each part of the foot that swells up um, is usually about three times the size it should be. So for me, last winter was nothing short of agony, basically for me, for the entire winter. I was in a complete and utter pain the whole time working out in the cold so this year i've taken the opportunity to um try and get in there before this, these issues start kicking in and so i started researching um thermal trainers well there ain't many out there okay so i've been on nike i've been on adidas i've been on uh, all of the all of the sites you can even imagine all all the usual suspects where you would go to find something that was sporty but also warm. Uh, a lot of the terminology I discovered was uh, um, a word called winterized uh, with a Z. Um, so I started looking that up as well, and in the end, my search finished with thermal trainers right that's i i know in, in the usa they call them sneakers i didn't search that to be honest um so weirdly and completely unexpectedly i started with a pair of vivo barefoots and i bought their thermal um trainers called magna and i wore them for a day and my feet were not warm in them at all and i'm a massive fan of vivo barefoot massive fan of them um, but my feet were, the, the trainers were a bit tight, so maybe I need to size up, but also my feet were definitely not warm. Um, and in fact, I was quite uncomfortable in them and really disappointed actually, because I really wanted a new pair and I wanted that pair to be the right pair. Uh, it didn't work out. So back to the search, stumbled across Lacoste. Now I don't own anything Lacoste, 
Um, the last thing I had that was by that brand was when I was seven, I was given a anorak that folded up into a bag with a belt, like a bum bag um, by Lacoste. And I was thrilled to pieces with it. I, I've never forgotten it, but I loved it. Anyway, I had a little shifty through their boots um, and they're like trainery type boots. I think they're called Chucker and they're about 115 pounds. Um, and I discovered, I like white trainers. I don't like dark colored trainers. I've never got on with dark colored trainers. I don't know why, just personal preference. And I know white is not good for winter, but they didn't have anything. Oh, they had a slightly off white one, but it didn't have the shearling lining. So they had three different types. One was leather, one was suede, one had fleece inside it, one had shearling inside it. Shearling is, is um, uh, sheep's fur usually, like an Ugg boot. Or, um, uh, and some had no lining, but were still kind of like warm. So it's three different types on there. Some were tan, um, there was a navy blue pair, white, and this and an off-white as well. Anyway, I went for the white. Look it up if you want to. This is the box it arrived in with the original logo. I love the crocodile logo, I have to admit. And I looked through their normal shoes and there was a pair of original kind of Lacoste trainers on there with the lovely green around the back of the heel with Lacoste embossed into the heel. They're next on my list, I have to admit. So inside, you wanna see inside this box, surely if it's an unboxing, you wanna see everything. So here you go. Ta-da! Right, so the sole's quite thick, which I don't normally go for, because that's why I wear Vivo Barefoots in the summer. So I love a really thin sole, bendy sole, because I do a lot of um, weight training, and I like to be able to feel the floor under my feet. Um, I used to teach aerobic stuff as well, like cardio stuff, but I don't anymore. If I was, I wouldn't be able to wear these to teach aerobics in. It would be impossible. Um, but I'm not, so it doesn't matter. I've left them un, un, um, unpacked. So this is how it arrived with the laces all nicely tucked in. There's the logo down the side. There's no other color on this shoe at all. It would have been lovely if there'd have been some of that original Lacoste green on here. I would have been thrilled with that, quite frankly, especially as green is so um, on trend this season. So let's take the tissue paper out and you can see the inside. Shoelaces. There we go. And as you can see, inside is a beautiful shilling um, lining. There it is, look. And it shows a little bit around the top edge and the tongue. They've got a really nice, from the top view, top view is so important, right, when you're buying trainers, because that's the view that you see them from. I like a trainer, the laces to go low down the toe because it makes the shoe uh, size look smaller. I'm a size four UK, which I think is a six US. The shearling goes all across the bottom as well, and it's beautifully soft. It feels like my cats. I love it. So I've put them, I've put one on so that you can see what it looks like. And I'm wearing my gym gear at the moment. I've got my Muscle Nation uh, leopard print tights on. So I'm just going to show you. Let's just move this to the side and you can see, there we go, that's them on. And then I'm going to just move the camera down for you so you can see me standing up in them. Um, they're a bit squeaky, I noticed, right? But uh, I'm sure that will go away in time. So there we go. That's it from the side. And the other side, the label's still on there. Sorry, it nearly fell over. There you go. So I've had this one on. I've had this, what, this one train on for, since I've been talking to you. I just put it on just before I press play record even um and my foot's warm <laughs> my foot is seriously warm now i'm indoors the heating's not on but um it is quite cold today and my foot is warm and my foot is comfortable and it doesn't feel crushed 
So I'm really happy with that. Um, guys, I'm happy. So they're staying. They're definitely staying. I'll have a walk around in them tomorrow. I'll teach in them tomorrow. Um, I'll be teaching for three hours tomorrow morning. So that will, that will be the test for them. Um, so yeah, check them out. Um, Lacoste has got an international website, so you should be able to find one in the country you live in. Um, I, I use the UK site, obviously, um, and they were delivered very quickly. So, well, happy guys, finally solved my problem. Hopefully my toes won't be falling off this year. Okay, I hope you found that thrilling. Love you, bye.